okay here so this is the second part for the continuation next here we going to draw the, these reference lines for the core next here this one is the this one is the yoke height so here this so here number of so we are giving the values so we are they they mention the total weight okay so here yoke height and this is the core height so we have to do so here we have to draw the five backlight rings each one have to mention the that is one mm okay we have to draw the five backlight rings here then so these four is called as a coil so ht coils these having the four ht coils in this question they mention this the number of coils per limb that is four so this one is the one limb for each limb having the four coils so we have to represent the this coil so here next here height of the lt winding and height of the ht wind so they will na sometimes they will not mention the ht winding so we have to take as the height of the lt wind so whatever the height is this is this is the total height okay here from this point to here that is one is the total height of the lt and ht this is the lt winding and this is the ht winding okay next so here coming to this part so first we have to take the what draw these lines and here come it okay next here for st this one is the ht and here on the lt okay so we have to take as this as reference we have to draw the reference and here the whatever the uh, height is there that is 24 so we have to divide it into four parts okay uh, divide into four equal parts for st then we draw these lines okay for this is the transform so similarly for the each limb okay similarly for each limb we have to draw the st coils then for the lt coils just we have to draw the lines okay so here for each limb so we are draw okay so this is the total dam so head is all so before going to again okay again i'm explaining you here so this is the part two so if you don't see the part one so we coming to again i will explain here okay in the part one. so here here the question is draw the sectional plan of a three phase transformer and having the core section three okay three step put core we are having the three step put core and 6.5 diameter of the circle so here is the diameter of the circle and bit distance between the core centers okay distance between that is this point to here okay the distance between the core centers so we have to take that is 18 so we have to take here 18.5 here and this centers also 18.5 okay this is the thing so 18.5 from here to first to second and second to third you have to take 18.5 18.5 that is total 30 set okay total 37 so from first to third we are having the 37 cm okay next so total height of the yoke so this one is the total height of the yoke next outer dam in the first loop. so whatever the outer diameter is there first cycle that is so we have to consider that is a lt okay next outer diameter that is a lt ht okay lt outer line. next ht okay for ht winding inner and outer so for ht only we are having the thickness one thing you know so whatever thickness they have mentioned that thickness we have to take as only for the ht wind not for lt okay so this is the o so here so this one is as called as a limbs so these having coils so this one is called one limb 2 3 4 5 6 we are having the six limb for we are having the three phase okay suppose if it having the single phase okay if they mention this one is a single phase diagram we have to draw in this way. okay so here they mention the this one is a three phase so we have to draw the that is we having the six limbs for the three phase if it is a single phase diagram we have to take as a four limbs only okay so sometimes they will mention the same data for the single phase also okay here the data so first 
whatever the diameter they mention that we have to take as a differ okay so first you have to draw the here distance between two core centers then diameter of the each circles okay diameter of the each circles okay then you have to draw the reference function lines okay then we have to draw the reference lines for each one then we have to take the from distance from the circles then first we have to draw the yoke height okay yoke height you have to take the this head from three step code okay from this one to here this one is the you have to take okay this is the distance at the distance of 80 centimeter okay then we have to draw the total height okay this is the total height of the code so that is that six so then we have to draw the these reference lines for ht and here inner lines that is for the lt okay so here so for here ht and lt height that is 24 is given that we have to take as the here so we have divide into four equal parts then we mention okay here ht coil so ht coil having thickness that is one point set that thickness we have to mention here okay here this is the total so is the so here this height is called as a, this one is the backlight rings so backlight ring having a thickness that is five mm okay top and bottom so we have to put as a ht okay above lt and s you have to draw the backlight two backlight rings okay this is the die this is a single phase three phase transformer section okay sectional elevation thank you